So I've been using the Samsung Galaxy J7 now for at least three and a half days. And uh, I got a report to you that um, it, here's another phone that makes me question my other purchases where phones cost uh, four times the amount of this phone. Um, this phone is retailing right now on T-Mobile for $239. Uh, I caught it for $199 at full cost. And um, even at $239, it's still a phenomenal purchase based on what I am experiencing. Now, a lot of people have been asking several questions about other devices, and everybody's pumped about the OnePlus 3 and all these other devices that are hidden. But the fact of the matter is, there are hidden jewels like this that are amongst us, and consumers need to know about them. Now, uh, I, I haven't used any other phone. I have, I have several phones around. I have my, my HTC 10 right here because I want to talk about that for something that I posted on Google+. Plus. Um, wow, where do I start? Let's start with the obvious here, uh, the screen. This screen is a AMOLED display and it's 1280 by 720. Now, before you shake a leg at that and say, ah, 720, uh, look at where I have my brightness. I keep my brightness right there. That's at about 15, 20%, maybe 20%. Uh, this phone does not have auto bright, so I keep it down low like that. And look at how bright and vivid the screen is. Uh, they have what's called outdoor mode. And if I hit that, it really brightens the screen up. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Crazy crystal clear brightness. Um, now on camera, it might not show that well, but let me tell you, oh boy, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal screen. And I don't adjust the brightness, I keep it right there. So the screen is 5.5 inches, 1280 by 720, and it is actually really, really good. I've done lots of gaming on it. The performance on it has been really good. Actually, I'm gonna jump right into that right now. Since, I'm, since I told you about it, let me not just talk about it, let me just grab a game real quick and uh, knock this out for you. I'll turn down the volume on the game for copywriting purposes. There's so many things on YouTube uh, that deal with copywriting. I'll just grab, uh, scroll through, grab some people, because this is just solely about gameplay. And I want to show you how beautiful this screen is. And let me remind you, I have the volume set down, or excuse me, the, uh, the screen set down pretty low. brightness so look at the performance and how there's no lag there's absolutely nothing on the screen so boom I want to work on it <laughs> um, but yeah this is just regular gameplay plays like anything else that I've any other devices that I have um, it plays very well there's no lag and it's not just on this video I've played this game this is a game that I play to kill time and um, and I played this in like simple games, but this is kind of a graphic intensive game. Um, however, it's handling it very well. And that's the most important part uh, that about this phone. Now, uh, that's a little bit of gameplay for you to show you how nice the screen is. The next thing that you'll probably notice about this phone or that I noticed, uh, and I do have a tempered glass on here. Remember, remember my other video, I, do, I put a tempered glass on right after the unboxing. Um, but the other thing about this screen, uh, about this phone that you might notice is the size. It's not a very big phone. It, it, it has a 5.5 inch display. And here it is next to my HTC 10. This has a 5.2 inch display. And it's not a very big phone. Um, the, the size of it, it feels pretty good in the hand. Now, it has this silky white color to it. This is, it's not, this is not a glossy white or a flat white. It's, it's a silky white and it's, it's not a soft touch. Uh, but it does feel really good in the hand. So the uh, size of the phone is actually really good. Now, there's always some downsides. I'm not gonna praise this phone and tell you it's the best feeling phone in the world because it's not. It's very slippery at times. Uh, I have, I'm supposed to have some cases come in, but they haven't come yet. And so I'm using this bareback raw, just nothing here. And this phone is super slippery. The edges have no grip and the back is so soft uh, that it's just, you know, 
you need to wash your hands free of lotion and any kind of grease to get some serious grip on the phone. Now, uh, with that being said, it's not that much of a deal breaker. I mean, we are paying $239 or $199, wherever you call the special at, um, for this device. So you're getting a very beautiful screen. Uh, you're getting a good, a good solid feel, small package pretty much with a 5.5 inch display, an AMOLED display at that. Performance on here, Samsung's processors perform very, very well. I am not disappointed. Um, the Exynos processor, I put it up against my K10 and it obviously beat the K10 in performance uh, with multitasking because it has two gigs of RAM and the K10 has 1.5. Nonetheless, I blame it more on the Exynos processor not so much the RAM. It does play a part, but the Exynos processors have proven to be very solid processors. Now, one other thing that I need to talk about before I go further is battery life. It, this, it, it might be one of the key selling points opposed to the screen and you know the price. Um, this has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery in it. And, uh, Man, I gotta tell you, it's on the flip side, but it has a 3,000 milliamp hour, oh, there it is right there. 3,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, while I'm in here, SD card slot, takes a nano sim. I mean, you don't have to make very many adjustments at all, uh, but I gotta talk about this battery. Now in a second here, I'll pop up on the screen here instead of showing you, I'll show you here, but um, I'll also pop up on the screen the battery life that I've gotten. Someone in a comment asked me and said, hey, Jay, you know, what kind of battery life are you getting? And uh, when I told them, they were just kind of like, what? Uh, it was on Tony Pozzo's video, actually. The guy was asking me, you know, hey, what are some battery tips, you know, for my device? And, you know, I told him, hey, I think they're asking for this phone, too. I don't remember exactly, but nonetheless, I, as you can see here, I went almost a day and a half on a single charge. No plug-ins, no nothing. A day and a half. Now, are you ready to see what the battery life actually looks like? Just a minute over, almost two minutes over, with 3% left, I had eight hours of screen on time. No joke. This phone, and uh, there's other days, I think, where I had uh, seven, let me see here, there's another day. There's a four hour one, three hour one, six hours, okay. Uh, those three and four hour ones, those were on days where I was conditioning the battery at the beginning. But afterwards, look at 20 hours, and you got six hours and 47 minutes. Uh, this, this phone uh, is fantastic on battery. Oh, I mean, I just, that is one of the main selling points of this phone now that I have it. Uh, it was the screen, it was the price, but now that I have this phone, wow. I'm pretty uh, surprised at how nice this battery is. It lasted over eight hours, man. That was another one, here's one right here. Eight hours, one minute, 40 seconds, with three minutes left. And I'm glad that I grabbed these screenshots because look at here, um, uh, when I went to sleep, it had 27%, uh, I think it was. When I woke up, it was at 26%. And there it is right there, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding, look at that. It stayed, Doze on this phone is amazing. I kid you not, Doze is amazing. Look at that. I went to sleep with 26, 27% I think it was and woke up with 26%. It, it moved, and it might, have, it might not even move to full 1% depending on where in the log for the battery, I can't see it. But however, look at that time. One day, 10 hours, 36 seconds. So my experiences with this phone uh, for the last three and a half, four days, or however long it's been, wow, it's been amazing. Now let's tackle one thing here about the camera. So I put up a photo, uh, I put up a photo on Google Plus, and I said, hey, you know, which one of these looks better? Here it is right here. Now in this photo, I'm going to reveal to you that I already put w what phone it was going up against and it was this phone right here. Now, um, on the left is the Samsung Galaxy J7 and on the right is the HTC 10. So what does that say about the HTC 10? Does it mean that it has a horrible camera if this phone right here that costs a third of the price is at 47%? There's 32 volts there. 
And I just put in there which one looks better, left or right. And I put HTC 10 and Samsung Galaxy J7. And the votes came in. Um, people left comments. But uh, on the left is this phone. So for a third of the cost of this phone, that means I'm getting a pretty good camera. Pretty good. This is kind of turned into my review, sorry. Um, however, uh, what does it say about this 21, I think this is a 21 megapixel camera or 20 megapixel, this is a much higher price phone and the specs are a lot higher being compared to this phone right here, which is only a 13 megapixel, no OIS, no laser focus. I just, I was sitting in a chair last night I shot the picture with both phones right by each other, and there it was. 47% of you feel like the J7 is just as good a camera as the HTC 10. That doesn't mean the HTC 10 has a horrible camera. It just means that the J7 has a good camera. It can stand its own against a phone that costs three times the price and has way better specs on paper. So, uh, take your blinders off. If you're one of those people that say, oh, I gotta have, I just, I gotta get this uh, because of it, mm -mm. that's why I continue to review phones that, that don't cost 900 bucks, that don't cost um, uh, 700 bucks all the time. I always bring phones in. If I can catch a deal on a phone, um, you know, I'll grab it. Like the K10, a phenomenal phone. I'll do a photo shoot with that one as well with this one and I'll put it on Google Plus as well and then I'll wait a little bit and then I'll reveal on Google Plus or maybe when I do my full review of this phone. Uh, anything that I didn't like, you might ask? Yeah, it's definitely the speaker. The speaker is definitely not the loudest speaker because they have it placed on the bottom, on the back here. If it was on the bottom and it was the same speaker, it still wouldn't be that loud. What I've noticed in phone calls with this phone, uh, the volume, I even plugged in, speakerphone on here is just horrible. Um, you have to be in a really quiet area in order to hear the person if you're gonna use speakerphone. And the quality itself isn't that good. Now, when I plugged in to talk with a, a, a headphone jack, it still wasn't that good. I was like, wow, you know, they cut corners, but you know, hey, I'll take it. The volume is just really, really low on both making phone calls and speakerphone and everything. It's just really, really low compared to a lot of other phones. So, with that being said, have I been enjoying the, the J7? Oh yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. I haven't used any other phone but this one. As my, well, I'll say my primary SIM card is in this phone. Uh, and it's not in this phone at the moment. Um, but uh, I gotta tell you, if you're a person who's in the market for a solid performer, wow, this is the one. Check out my camera review I did of this phone and uh, the Versus, the K10 and performance, and uh, tell me what you think. It's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.